Hey everybody, it's time for Manifesting Monday. What is it? It's an opportunity for you to achieve your goals by focusing on the energy of the week based on your astrological big three. So think about your uh, sun, your rising, and your moon. <clears throat> How do you apply it? You want to take a moment and think about the intention that you want to focus on for the week. Whether it's a milestone you're trying to reach or just some singular goal for the week, keep that in mind. Reach or, or uh, listen to the general insights that I'm about to give you. Uh, then focus on your sign, whether it is all three, sun rising and moon, or just primarily your sun, so that you know what the energy is that's coming in for that week. Then apply that card to the circumstance that you thought about that you want to achieve when you set your intention. And if you want to get even more information about how to do the thing, because I'm going to tell you what to do. If you want to know about how to do the thing, head on over to uh, patreon.com slash coming out tarot and you can find more over there. Uh, so first in this this week of February, <laughs> that is, uh, what is it, week of 2-6, um, we have a, an energy that's starting off with Krishna. This is the son of wands. And that energy is to say, have fun with it. Play a little. You don't need to be as serious as you think you do. Even in all the stuff I'm about to say next. Aries, you got Spider Woman. Make sure you get your ducks in a row. Taurus, the sun, get in person. Get out there. Make it happen. Gemini, you've got Odin. It's time to sacrifice for the greater good. Cancer, you've got Isis, it's time to focus on, like, focus on your goal. Leo, you've got the moon, it's time to trust the message that you're receiving. And we got next, uh, Virgo, you've got Chief Seattle, it's time to speak your truth. For Libra, we've got the Three of Stones, share the responsibility words important. And for Scorpio, you've got the universe. So it's time to tie up some loose ends. Now, Sag, you've got the emperor. Act quickly. There's a lot of nuance in this one that shows up in Patreon. Uh, who we got next? Capricorn. You've got the five of stones. Nobody puts baby in a corner. A lot going on with that one too. Aquarius, it's your season. We've got uh, the Ace of Wands. It's time to act on inspiration. And if there's anybody who can do it, it's you. Pisces, we've got the the uh, Aeon. It's time to answer the call. All right, there's a lot going on this week. There's a lot of um, energy out there that is focused on long game, and I think it's. Um, it's always harder to live in this experience because the day-to-day -day is like barraging us all the time. So uh, I want you to be mindful of that the energy this week is really about those long-term experiences and going further rather than satisfying an immediate need or um, uh, a situation. Those immediate answers or responses are always about the long game this week. Um, one of the spreads that I use to help people think in a long game kind of experience usually aligns with what am I supposed to be doing right now? And that uh, pulls up insights like what are you what are your interests? What are the skills that you've been building building throughout your entire life? And what's the change you want to see in the world? And when you align interest skills and change, now we've got some purpose and you can focus on where you're headed and align all those other things to make sure they happen. So there's some uh, insight for you about kind of how to do the thing, even more detail on how to do the thing over on patreon.com slash coming out tarot. And if you want to join the conversation, I also drop these in uh, to spaces. You can find the spaces app on the, um, on the app store and uh, engage in the conversation around your manifesting work. Thanks everybody. See you later.